Yeah, look, I don't like it. And they're in a playoff game. And I get if he's not playing, but this whole tweet out, let me explain my whole medical uh, status. Uh, and look, I'm hearing grumblings from a, a handful of folks there that their teammates have feel like uh, his process has been slower than expected. Uh, I, I just don't like it. The, the team's more important right now than you. And, and we appreciate the information on your injury status. You're not playing. I get it. I don't see this player back in Baltimore next year. Oh, wow. And wow. Uh, I, I think he'll end up with another club. Yeah, I look at it. You know, if this team was, you know, 2-15, and 15, I, I could see him not coming yeah. back and trying to finish out the season. It just seems that, you know, we all play this game to try to w- win a Super Bowl. Like, yeah. that's the main goal. And if you have a, good, a team that's good enough to get to the playoffs – and you guys, we're it, not what, having what, this conversation, it, that contract. It, it, you're not having a con- like you're three games. I understand, win. you know, he's playing the game. I don't know if I would have the balls to do it. I'm, I'm being yeah, real honest with you, know, like you, you know, to sit out. But kudos to him. I mean, he's, he's about his business. He, he figures they, they don't want to pay him. So, but like but, Coach <laughs> said, like you just said, it's the playoffs, man. You three, yeah, game, you three yeah. games away. Put a brace on it. Get it going. And look, put a brace on it. Let's go. Well, it's hard. It's hard to say that, though. Right. If we don't if know if he's, really he's not. Hurt. I don't know the extent of. I don't know the extent played, of his injury. I played the whole I mean? season on the on a sprain MCL. So yeah, I understand you know, if he's not ready. Whole season. But with Char- a lower Char- body injury, he's going to be up in the press box. He's not going to be on the field for me. Charles. You know, Char- Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple string. All right, fam. So, yeah, you, you seen you seen the video? Um, yeah, yeah. I I really don't know what to say about that because. One, Sean, Sean Payton is off my list after he said that stupidity. Uh, like, uh, was the uh, the family guy uh, tweeted out, did you not forget Sean Payton Bounty Gate? You, what? Okay, then my boy Charles Woodson, y'all. That's my boy. But I'm like, he's a defensive person, so he's going to speak, you know, a little. For the, he can only really speak for the defensive side, I would say. Because Lamar even tweeted out how serious it is. But then you get to the person that's supposed to have Lamar's back. You get to Michael Vick. And ever since Michael Vick, he said something a while back about taking like a friend, team friendly deal or something. He something said something like that. Then he said this. So, to me, he already verified what he is. What's the matter? Why are you so honored? You miss me? Huh? Oh, yes, sir. I miss you like a, like a hog miss flop, like a, like a, a baby. Miss Mammy Titty. <laughs> I miss you like I miss a rock in my shoe. <laughs> now, so... Yeah, it's it's just like, dude, why you even you even talking? Why, why why you even talking? I know what you're doing. You're trying to get on that good side of, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, dude, just just be you. That that, that just be you. Speak your mind. But I guess he, he he's pretty much like. Kind of like a Stephen A, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like a uh, a black version of Skip Bayless. But, yeah, it, it just didn't make sense to me. Brace, what do you say, uh, you brace it up or whatever. Then the fam Ravens on Gatekeepers put, put this little tweet out. See the snap of the ball, it's low, and then as he goes down, but as he's trying to get it here, you see that knee oh. go. And Joe, it kind of goes back to the point that you made earlier as far as the conversation or lack thereof that occurred when the injury happened four weeks ago between him and Dr. between Mike Shanahan and Dr. James Andrews. And, well- and that made me, I was like, yup, yup. And when I saw that, I was like, RG3 probably told him, called him, hey, bro, how serious is it? Okay, don't play, fam. 
You see what happened to me? You see what happened to me? And I was never the same. I was never the same. So don't go out there. Get your money. If they don't want to pay you, you know somebody else will. There's a lot of t teams out there that will take you, that will surround you with some good wide receivers. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if G3 did that. He was his backup. You know they probably got each other phone number. Probably send them a little message or send them, you know, uh, give them a call, a quick little FaceTime. But, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't even know why they Michael Vick even talked to Charles Woods. I'm like, okay, what, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Sean Payton, I'm like, come on, bro. I, I thought you had more sense than that, but obviously you proved me wrong. So, yeah, yeah you know, Michael Vick, you know, stay uh, stay acting for, uh, what, Django 2 or something? I, I don't know, but, uh, yeah.